Okay, so let's just go ahead and, and, and address this really fast because I'm not going to make this too long. I'm just I'm just here because I want to stand in solidarity with my boy, Clint. Um, and when I say my boy, I just mean I watch his content. I enjoy his content. I think the guy has great. I think the guy just does great work. But um, I want to talk about that video he just put out a little bit ago with uh, talking about the addressing the elephant in the room with the comments that he got on his Sophia video stating that you don't have to pull for her. Um, he's 100% correct. I'm sorry, but Clint's 100% correct. Um, you don't need to pull for her. Matter of fact, you don't need to pull for any character. There's no character in this game that you need to pull for in order to play the game. This game is built around a system where that you can build so many different teams from the normal to, from the normal common characters to the legendary characters, and you can still complete content. Look at Purple. Purple builds teams and literally using the normals and stuff, and he just dominates content because you know what? He's a good player. He's very good. Clint is the same way. Like, like for you guys to sit there and do personal attacks on him when he says that you don't need to pull for Sophia when he's right, I mean, that's ridiculous. Like, I went, I thought he was capping at first. I'm going to be honest with you. I thought he was capping. I thought it was like a clickbait video. But then I read the comments on his video, and holy shit. Like, y'all really out here just doing personal attacks? Like, huh? Like, y'all really doing personal attacks with this dude over a character? Because he says you don't need to pull on her. And then y'all sit there and try to tell him the square root of fuck all. Like, I don't understand this shit. Like, this is ridiculous. And, and, and in the end, you're still wrong. Because the only thing that he said was is that you don't need to pull for her. She's fantastic in Hangman team. She's fantastic by herself. But you don't need to pull for her. If she doesn't fit your, your units, if she doesn't fit on the builds that you have, why are you pulling for her? It makes no logical sense. DPS characters are always power scaled faster than anything else. The characters that you that are always the ones that last the longest in gacha games are sustain, buffers, sustain characters like tanks or healers, buffers and debuffers. Those are the only characters that ever have a longer longevity over DPS characters. DPS characters are never a huge necessity because the buffers and the sustainers hold the team together. You can have any DPS on your team, but the buffers and the sustainers, those are the ones that are going to carry you through a lot of content. If you're in the beginning, the first 30 levels of the game, it don't matter if you got Sophia because you can do that with anybody. Now, don't get me wrong. If you want to pull her because you like her and you think that she's a great unit, cool. Like, do that. If you pull it because you enjoy her, you want her, there's nothing wrong with it. That's not the people who we're talking about. We're talking about the people who are saying that you have to pull on her. If you want your account to be good, you need to pull on her. You have to pull on her. And then the audacity of pulling another content creator's uh, tier list and saying that this content creator is you know they they told they mathematically mapped out everything and this is why she's the best and this is why this this and that that's ridiculous i'm sorry um i have never played a gotcha game and based off of anything for a a tier list i actually think tier lists are trash i'm just going to keep it a straight buck with you tier lists are bad and the reason why i say that is because tier lists puts it into the the headspace of people that you need to get something because they're a triple s character they're a, a, a double s you know they're, they're the top tier characters so you have to get that character and it puts that fear that fomo in them that makes them want to drop and, th and throw extra money in the game so they have to go ahead and get this character when they come out and that's just ridiculous Anyone who's ever played a gacha game has fallen in this trap. I did it in my early years when I first started playing. When I first started even streaming, when I was doing Final Fantasy Brave Exvius, it's happened to me. So, like, ever since that, I learned. I grew. I just, I realized that I don't, in order for me to have fun, I'm just going to get the characters that I want. I'm going to get the characters for my teams and for my build. And if anyone's ever watched my content, you know that I have always said that. At the end of the day, you don't have to get a character. You don't have to pull for a character. You you just get them what you you just get them because you want them. 
if you've ever looked at my guide videos on characters like Simona and whatnot, if you've ever looked at those characters in those videos, I specifically said on multiple times, like, this is what the character does. This is how you can use them. These are the skills on their kit that I think are good and what I think are bad. And this is how I would build that character. I will never tell you, you have to get this character. I would never tell you that this character is going to be the best and you need to pull on them and that because they're, they're triple OG, the best character. No, no, no. That don't mean shit to me. And I feel like people need to have that same mentality. If you want to be a meta drone and if you want to be, you know, if you want to play the game based off of what the meta is, that is, that is fine. You do that, but don't, sit there and tell somebody that they're wrong and don't sit there and tell because your opinion is different from theirs that's where that's where the fuck boy shit kicks in and i'm sorry that's some real fuck boy shit like i'm sorry all right the fact that clint had to make that video and the fact that he had to do that because you guys were personally attacking him in his in his comments is crazy it really is crazy um but you know it, it, it wasn't a lot of people but there were people that was doing it and honestly, like it, it, it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. Anyway, guys, I want just want to I just want to stand in solidarity with the man because I I felt like that was crazy that he had to make some such like it wasn't even that big of a deal and people were blowing that shit up like it was a big of a deal and that shit is crazy. Anyway, catch you in the next video. I got a video coming out this week. So peace.